quick little message here. I know I had mixed emotions when we did pick him on my live stream, but it has grown on me now. I know I cussed, but that's mostly because I had mixed emotions. But enjoy this video and subscribe. Thank you. Appreciate it. Enjoy it. So the Steelers drafted Pat Fryermuth, and I kind of loved this at first. I was just like, wait, I thought we were going to pick Creed. I didn't even think Creed was going to make it to the second round, but then the pick kind of grew on me, right? Because he can block. He's actually a very good route runner, and he's basically just like Baby Gronk. I wouldn't like the Heath Miller comparison, if I'm being honest. I would like way more of the Gronk comparison in their play styles and also how they're just naturally built because obviously they both have those stocky hips. That sounds weird, but they both have similar builds. And watch right here, you know, he's really going to attack that middle of the field that we lacked last year and you know i know we were running slants in the middle of a cover too but this is some of the things that he can do for you right and i love this pick even more because he can attack zone coverages like nobody else on our team he's big and he'll punish linebackers and safeties in the middle of a cover three or a cover two right and he's also a great route runner as i said so you know he can beat man to man you know, it's not like he's super slow, like some people say. No, he's just super smooth with his routes. And sometimes that's a very underrated trait. And I feel as if people don't really know how much of an impact this is going to make right and i talk about his great route running but let's watch it right here right so you got 87 and he's just gonna be basically hop skipping and then when it comes time to break on that route he's gonna hit it with a change of speed but watch how he just gets that defender really hesitated and this may not be the fanciest route but he knows who he is as a tight end right so he can just move very very smoothly and he doesn't really have to do too much on his routes he can get those defenders hesitated and he can just turn because that's really all you need and a lot of those guys once he does turn you know they're not going to be able to catch up to him and even if they do they're not going to be able to break up the pass because he has just such a big frame right he has the frame of an nba center and when you are like that right when you can manipulate your body like that as a big guy it really doesn't make it any better for the defense and as we see right here open field nobody's going to tackle him and another thing that i want to get to that i mentioned before is how he helps this offense out in so many different ways because in canada's system we are a run first team now right because now we're gonna run the play action to perfection and pat fryermuth is gonna be a huge part of that because once those linebackers do get sucked in we're gonna slip them up the seam or run them on a deep crosser and they're really gonna have to respect that because again he is such a threat he's a big guy great route runner and has underrated speed if i'm being honest and i heard somebody today say you know he can't make a splash play or something like that which is obviously not true in my opinion and let's just say this right they're going to be playing two high safeties and pat fryermuth goes up the middle on a seam or whatever it is those two safeties are going to have to respect him they're going to get sucked in and now you have the deep shot for claypool going vertical or deontay johnson or whoever it is and basically you add a whole nother element to your offense and with canada it's going to put the defense in a lot of bad positions constantly and now with whatever the defense is running there's going to be a solution to that problem right and it's really just going to be so exciting to watch and as we see here he can get physical with any defensive back this is just a bad ball by his quarterback but i'm super excited for this pick and i think in hindsight when we look back on this we'll all love this as well because having a great tight end is something that we really missed i mean ebron is cool and all don't get me wrong he was very valuable but to have an overall player that can be an elite tight end is super valuable but to let me know what you guys think about pat fryermuth i hope you guys enjoyed this video let's get it to 3k subscribe if you haven't already i appreciate all of you guys and that's it for me on this one. Peace.